One other quick last thread, this is the last piece of information to throw at you, the Eye of Horus. There's always another piece. The Eye of Horus flashes. Have you ever seen the uh, symbol mm -hmm. of the Eye of Horus? Yeah, and it's associated, and it gives me the same fear that I feel when I see the cobra snakes. Okay. Same fear that I feel when they're saying Ra, Ra, Ra. Where in the scene was the Eye of Horus? Where was the scene where the left a horse? It randomly passes like every ten seconds. That in symbol, the dream. yeah, in the dream, like that symbol. Every ten, maybe fifteen seconds, it would flash through. Yeah, and then I would have an emotional response to it, and then I would live a little bit more of like ancient mm -hmm. Egypt, and then the symbol would flash. And each time it did, I became more and more afraid. Okay. And it felt like, in some ways, to be perfectly honest, that a Christian background. Uh, for some reason felt like that's where the fear was culminated. I grew up Roman Catholic, that's how I grew up. And so for some reason this symbol of left eye of Horus really I felt. Can you, um, can you detail out the, the emotion of it? Yeah. And let me know if you want examples. Example. Yeah. Um, if you have, uh, say it again. Say it left again. eye of Horus? Um, There's a rage. That's the one thing that comes through. That fear and that rage are. You okay. feel like a. Anyway, sorry. No, no. Uh, danger. Threat. Um, was there any uh, other emotions like uh, shame or betrayal guilt. or guilt? Guilt and shame. Okay. The fear, the guilt and shame, and then the rage. It's almost the cycle of the emotional pattern when you really slow it down. Mm -hmm. But it happens at such a condensed mm -hmm. rate. I'm afraid, and I feel shame and guilt, and then I feel wicked angry. Okay. Could also be what you're experiencing then, and then what you're experiencing now. Mm -hmm. and both those happening together. Ooh. The emotions and dreams and the storylines that unfold in the dream space are always multidimensional and multilinear. So you'll have the same emotion from <clears throat> an experience multiple lifetimes back occurring simultaneously with an experience that happened yesterday. And you'll come up with dream imagery so that you can elicit the same emotion and then you track oh that happened you know, how many thousands of years ago uh -huh. this happened yesterday this is a theme this is an emotional thematic theme huh. um, for me to look at and looking at it means sending your breath into it putting your attention on it and paying attention to what comes up with grace and with ease it can be a very intense process it brings up a lot of emotions and uh, memories that surface, um, we can never predict them. So, have fun with it, but be ready, there's juice in here. Um, Theodore? Yes. Jason? <laughs> I love Thanks for being a guest. Give me a hug. I think this is going to be great. It is great. It is, it is great. We're going to keep in touch, hopefully. Tune in next week for another exciting edition of Moon Temple Dreaming with Jason Levitt. Thanks for watching. Applause! <laughs>